Alright guys, today we're talking about <coughs> reducing nitrates in your aquarium. So how you can, to understand how to reduce the nitrates, you have to understand where they come from in the first place. So they can come from um, a few different ways, but the most common one I would believe is overfeeding and overstocking your tank. Which basically means you either, you're, say you have a 10 gallon tank and you put 10 fish into it, that's alright as long as they're about an inch per fish and you have it properly cycled and filtered, but most likely they won't like say they put three or like say they put ten uh rainbow fish they get the neon dwarf rainbow fish they get about two an inch and a half so that'd be almost 15 inches in a 10 gallon tank and with only a 10 gallon filter on it it wouldn't be able to handle it and you'd have to increase your water changes in order to keep it down but most likely you won't so what you want to do is just not over stock your tank um, another way they are caused is overfeeding. That's probably a really common way, as I was saying. So, a way you can not overfeed is do like a little pinch. Wait a minute, make sure the fish have eaten it all and it's not on the surface anymore. And then do another little pinch and just repeat that until for about three minutes till the fish, because that's usually when they're full. I feed mine twice a day, once in the morning, then once before I turn the lights off, because that's when the quarry got cats come out for me and eat all the extra food that went down. And now, another way you can reduce. The nitrates, if you do overfeed, is a little fish called the Cory catfish. They are they come in a bunch of different sizes. Um, I I like the pygmy one a lot. Pick the pygmy ones a lot. Don't know why I just do, but what I have in my tank, I have I've overstocked my tank with Cory cats. What I need, I probably need about five max, but I think I have about seven in here, because I just like Cory cats and they're good to scavenge. Like you probably can't tell, but in the corner right there by that big piece of driftwood on your screen is a bandit quarry cat right now going to work. They're always scavenging too. Another fish that I found out that's scavenge that doesn't usually do it is my Siamese algae eater because my tank has kind of toned down on the algae so he just likes to scavenge for food. So I'm going to show you what the quarry cats are like and what you can get with the quarry cats. So here's the bandit. Uh, he just swam into the thing. But I think you can see one of the emerald quarry cat, not the emerald, I forget what they're called, one of these quarry cats back here. Uh, my quarry cats, and there's another one right there, mine like to go up more or less kind of like when it's a little bit cooler at night. Um, my, it, my tank kind of gets a little hot in the summer, like it's a solid, like not 82, but not 80, so it's at 81 degrees, which is pretty hot for fresh water. Uh, not it. Eh, for this 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 kind of tank, I'd like to keep it cooler, but it's just summer. I can't do too much about it. I'm not gonna run a chiller anyway. So yeah, they come in much different sizes. I also have a pygmy in here somewhere. Pygmy quarry cat. Not sure where he went. They're always somewhere scavenging. Um, yes, yeah, so those are a good another a great way to reduce nitrates if you do overfeed by accident. Is uh, quarry cats. Another reason that causes. Uh, okay, set this down first. Guess the camera. Good enough. Um, another reason that causes nitrates is not keeping up with your water changes. So you need to make sure you just keep up on those. And another, like you could be doing your water change, but you're just siphoning out the water. It'll reduce them a little bit, but not as much as you potentially could if you do, like with the gravel vac. Which means you say, I'm trying to think how I could depict this. So when you go in your tank, say my finger is the uh, siphon. So if you just keep it in the water column like this and just suck out the water, you'll reduce a little bit of nitrate spawn as much as you could. So what you want to do is get it into the sand, suck it up, pinch it, let the sand fall back down, just repeat, like, kind of dig in there, and then let it up, let the sand fall, and just keep repeating that. It's another great way to reduce the nitrates. It's just water changes. It's very simple. Replacing your filter media, too. Don't let that run for too long. I change mine about every three weeks to a month, depending on how 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 it looks. Um, another way is you could actually over filtrate your tank. That's what I recommend doing. It's what I've done with all my tanks. I have a 50 gallon filter on this 30 gallon tank. Oops. Um, but yeah, it, that's also what I'd recommend doing. So if you have like, say a 30 gallon tank but a 100 gallons of filtration on there, you probably won't have high nitrates. You will be set with that. Um, another great way to do nitrates, plants they eat up nitrates because they use the fish waste to grow. 
So they also use a bunch of other things in the water column, like all the excess nutrients. They also are a great way of keeping algae down and keeping nitrates down. So yeah, they're a great way. Um, I'm trying to think of any others. Um, yeah, let's see here. Discuss the plants, water changes, quarry cats. Uh, the siphoning, yep. Uh, so I think that's basically the three basic ways to lower nitrates. Is Again, in a nutshell, is the doing, keeping up with your basic water changes, and after your water change, change out the filter media, siphon, and then the next one is the plants. Plants are an awesome way. And also the quarry cats, because they eat excess food. Oh, there's another little violet of quarry, if you saw him, he just went up to the surface. Um, yeah, so quarry cats are also fun. They're just add a little, they're, they're characters too, like mine. Sometimes they just dog pile each other in the corner. It's kind of entertaining to watch. So. All right, I just remembered, I think, two more things that you could do. There are also certain filter medias that claim to reduce nitrates. Some of them do, like, I think it's called nitrosor, Purigen. Purigen by, I forget who it's by, I think it's Seachem, not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I, it has something that re apparently reduces ammonia, nitrates, and nitrite. But I'm not totally sure how that works. It's probably some sort of, obviously some sort of chemical in there, but... I have found a great way to reduce the nitrates is an algon. Simple little, that's not very bright. Take it over the tank. Um, algons, they're a great way to reduce the nitrates. Um, it also helps clarify water nitrate remover. Works in fresh and salt and reef. Safe for aquatic plants, for instance, you can read that yourself. And then they come, they're in these little small packages like this. So they fit in almost any filter. They're really small, really handy. Um, yeah, I change them once every five days. So there's that. So there's the filter meters as well. I'm not sure how well those actually work. I know my my algons work extremely well, but not sure how the purigen works. So that's it. So please rate, comment, subscribe, and I would appreciate it if there was a like and a comment left.